It's crazy to believe, but it's officially been one year on YouTube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I made overall, what my top performing videos made, and what I've learned from doing this. But before we get into that, if you don't know me, my name's Ryan Pineda. I'm a real estate investor here in Las Vegas. We do over 100 real estate deals per year, mainly house flipping. I also own a whole bunch of other businesses, and YouTube has really made the difference in expanding those businesses and helping us have record revenues. And also, if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because we are putting out a ton of content every single week, and it's completely free to do, so why not? Before I started this channel, I actually was a huge YouTube hater. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I never really watched the videos. I didn't understand what the importance of it was, and I just didn't get it overall. And it's funny because all my wife has watched for the last bunch of years is YouTube. She follows her favorite vloggers and family channels, and I just couldn't understand why she was so into it. But now that I've been on it for a year, I totally get it. I've got my favorite YouTubers that I like to watch. Other people watch my videos. I watch way more YouTube today than I watch anything else. That includes sports, it includes movies, it includes TV. And I do believe that YouTube is gonna continue continue to grow and get bigger and bigger as time goes on. People are gonna rather watch their favorite creators than they would TV shows. And I actually saw a crazy statistic from my friend Spencer, who is also a YouTuber here in Vegas. He said that the NBA Finals got around 15 million views per game. When you look at famous YouTubers like Mr. Beast, they're getting 50 million views a video. And so when you compare it like that, and you say that, man, Steph Curry and LeBron and these guys only get 15 million views, but 50 million people are watching Mr. Beast, it's totally different. Mr. Beast is gonna be more famous than these guys as time goes on. I'm all in on YouTube at this point, and I'm gonna tell you my very big goal going forward at the end of this video. So make sure you stay all the way through. Let's go take a look at what my top five performing videos were and how much they made. All right, so let's jump into my YouTube analytics. Every great YouTuber always looks at their analytics every day. You gotta figure out what's working, what's not working, so that you can do more of what works, less of what doesn't. So as you can see, I first uploaded on April 30th. It was just a little intro video that I made so that people could know who I was. My first real video was on May 4th and it was a PPP video. And I thought this was a great topic because it was something that was brand new. People didn't know how to use it. And I actually did it myself and got over $100,000 that was fully forgiven. So I figured this would be a great video that's gonna be talked about and people want to know. Well, that first video got over 1,000 views the very first day and that was everything I needed to go forward and just have confidence that this was gonna be good. Now, one thing I'll say is I did have videos on this channel from years ago. I used to actually make videos for Facebook specifically, but I didn't even upload them. My team did just because because we already had the video, so why not throw it on every other platform? So I didn't really count that as part of my career for becoming a YouTuber because I didn't even know my login. But all that being said, when I released the PPP video, my goal was to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Well, I ended up getting to about 75,000 by the end of 2020. And for the first full calendar year, as it stands right now, I've got 116,000 subscribers. On top of all those subscribers, my channel has had over 5 million views. And I gotta tell you, I am super proud of those goals. They've exceeded my expectations. And achieving those numbers has been super difficult. It's taken a lot of work, it's taken a lot of time, it's taken a lot of money, but it's been worth every second of it. But speaking of money, let's go into how much these videos are actually making. So starting at number five, it's actually one of the sequels to my original couch flipping video, which we're gonna talk about later. Now, when I made my first couch flipping video, I had no idea that it would take off the way it did. I was just simply making a video about something that I used to do, and it just took off like wildfire. People went crazy for it. And it's cool to see all the people making YouTube videos about all their couch flipping exploits and how much money they're making. But this video in particular has almost 150 50,000 views and has made $2,000. And it's also got me 2,500 subscribers. So it's kind of cool to think that one video made me $2,000. Kind of helps offset all of these production costs. So that was a cool video. Let's jump into number four. Number four is the most expensive home in Las Vegas video. So my brokerage, Forever Home Realty, actually sold the second most expensive home in Vegas. Somebody topped us at the end of the year. But this video had such high production value. It was probably the video we spent the most time working on. The editing team absolutely killed it with all the B-roll, all of the structure. It's a really good video. I highly recommend you guys watch it. But it's got over 268,000 views and has made almost $2,000. I'm probably more proud of this video than all of my other ones because the production value was so high. 
One thing I can tell you as we go forward, we're gonna be touring many more luxury homes just like this one, because many of you in the comments have been telling me you want more of it. And if you're one of those people, definitely comment below because we're trying to film more and more of these style videos. So that was a really cool one, but let's go to number three. Number three is a video that I thought was gonna do good, but initially didn't, and I was really disappointed. And that was how I bought my 10 unit apartment with $16,000. Now we launched this video really early on in my YouTube channel and I thought that it was gonna absolutely go viral because the concept was so cool. But it actually didn't. It was really slow out the gate. As you can see from this chart right here, 52 days in, it only had 4,000 views. But all of a sudden, something happened at day 52 and it started to just pick up steam. It just started accumulating over 1,000 views a day and it continued at that pace for months. And as you can see overall, it's now got almost 360,000 views. It's made me over $5,000. But most importantly, it's got me almost 10,000 subscribers. And that was one of my first videos where I thought that it should have went viral. It didn't, I was disappointed but eventually it caught on for whatever reason. So let's go to video number two, which is my couch flipping video. Now this is the video that I talked about before that I did not think was gonna go viral. I just was putting it out there just because, and it went absolutely bananas. If you look at this graph, within 45 days, it had almost 200,000 views. And then by day 90, it had almost 400,000. And then as of today, it's got over 600,000 views. It's got me over 16,000 subscribers, but the mind blowing number is this video alone has made $18,000. And that's mind blowing because this video alone has produced more income than any rental property could. This is pure net cash flow. There's no maintenance, there's no headaches. So that's why I always say digital real estate is also a form of passive income. And that's exactly what this video is. Which leads me to video number one, which is my California is dead video. So. This is one that I also did not think was gonna go viral. I just saw a news article that California was potentially increasing taxes to these new extraordinary levels, and I felt like I should just talk about it. I didn't think anything crazy was gonna happen, but once again, it's a video that went viral out of nowhere. Almost all of its growth happened within the first 90 days, and then since then, it's kind of leveled off. But this video has still made me a good chunk of change. It's made me almost $9,000, got me over 7,000 subscribers, so it's a video that is really good. And as you can see, even though it got more views than the couch living video, it made half of the income. And that's because the advertisers are willing to pay more to advertise on my couch living video. If you look at this California is Dead video, the CPM is $23. And if you look at the couch living video, the CPM is $51 dollars which is crazy now before i show you the total for what i made for the entire year i want to show you one other statistic right here 74 percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed i need you guys to change that you need to subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free it doesn't cost you anything and it's going to help youtube push this channel even more to get this content out to more people and i may be doing a giveaway for my subscribers so make sure you do it now assuming that you subscribed let's take a look at my yearly total all right so for the big reveal of how much i made for year one i gotta say it's a lot more than i expected and it's probably more than what 99 percent of creators did in their very first year i've watched other videos just like this one and most creators have the same story of not making any money in year one and really struggling to figure it out. And I'm not gonna lie, I've had struggles along the way. Currently, my channel has kind of plateaued. The last three months, we have not made as much in YouTube AdSense as I did the previous three months. And so I'm working on different ways that we can change the channel and create even better content and get more views. But all that being said, in year one, I made $89,420 from just YouTube AdSense. And obviously for most people, that is more than they're making per year and it's something that's just a startup company for me. So I'm super happy with how the year turned out on the AdSense front. But if you've been watching me for a while, then you know that AdSense is not really what I'm after. For me, YouTube is three things. Number one, I enjoy giving people value and creating videos. I love when I meet people when I'm traveling or even here in Vegas and they say they watch my channel and that they're trying to get into investing or that it's dramatically changed their lives. To me, that's more rewarding than anything and that's what fuels me to continue making videos. The second thing that YouTube 
YouTube is for me is a lead magnet for my businesses. My videos have gotten over 5 million views and from those views have been a ton of traffic to my different businesses. My tax company, TrueBook CPA, has got almost all of its clients from YouTube videos. My education company, Future Flipper, has over a thousand students and I can tell you the majority of them have come from seeing my YouTube videos. So it's great marketing for all of my businesses and I know as I build more businesses, it's gonna lead to more traffic for them. And if you have a business, you should definitely be on YouTube or other social media channels because it is a great way to get clients. But the third reason that I love YouTube is the challenge. It was really hard to go from zero to 100,000. And the big goal that I was alluding to earlier on in this video is that in the next year, I wanna go from 100,000 to 1 million. When I do this update on May 1st, I wanna have a million subscribers. And that is probably the hardest thing I'll have to do. It's not gonna be trying to go flip a bunch of houses or buy a bunch of rentals. No, this will be the hardest thing that I do in the next year. And that excites me. I love a good challenge. I love pushing myself. I love doing things that I've never done before. And it's a big goal that I know is gonna be really hard. But I know I'm gonna need your help to get there. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and watch the journey. Also, I'm gonna need your help in the comments. Let me know what type of videos you wanna see. What's gonna get the most traffic? What would you enjoy? Those are the videos I'm gonna make. To be honest, I plan on doing less of these talking heads and more videos out in the field because it seems like those are the ones that get the most views. So comment below if you agree. And lastly, if you didn't know, I actually have a second YouTube channel as well. It's called The Ryan Pineda Show. It's where we put all of our podcasts. If you wanna see some really cool interviews as well as topics more in depth, definitely subscribe to that channel as well. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it inspired you. If you've been subscribed from the beginning, let me know in the comments below if you're an OG. I appreciate all of you guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do in the next year. Hopefully we can get to a million. Thanks guys.